Hi friends, in last videos we have seen that what the success control list and uh, what they will do and uh, so few things like basic things of access control list we have seen in last video. Now actually I want to tell actually there are different types of access lists we can see. What are those in the sense? Access list is again classified into two types. Numbered access list, named access list. Again, here standard. Also, we can see here also standard, and one more is extended, and here extended. okay so this is nothing but these are the different classification we can say under access list we can implement the access list stuffs by using numbered or named again what it is numbered and named only the thing number in the sense we will be using some kind of numbers to implement the access control list in named instead of numbers directly will assign some kind of names uh, in that access list okay sorry for that fine only thing here we will be giving number in the access list and here we will be giving name in the access access control list again what is standard and what is extended uh, instead of explaining directly I want to show you that in lab how it works and what it what are the things it it will be like we can do with standard or also with extended Standard means it is a thing like you, you can uh, either know uh, to match only the source address from whatever the traffic coming from this source address or this network address you permit it or deny it like that kind of stuff you can do with the standard access list but in extended it is not only that you are matching the source address or destination address here you are going to match the network traffic which is coming from particular network particular source network and which is going for that particular destination uh, network that you block it this source to this destination that you block it or this uh, a source to this destination you permit it or from this source to this destination this kind of traffic traffic in the sense we have seen in previous videos like there are different types of traffics we can tell the telnet traffic or icmp traffic or normal uh, ip packets whatever it is flowing front and back or so these are the different kind of packets we can say or oh, sorry traffic we can say so if you want to disable like permit or deny this particular protocol based or this traffic you can do it using the extended access list so let me show you in that lab actually how it does work so let me open my simulator <coughs> okay now I'm going to put some routers and here some kind of switches
okay let me give some kind of IP addresses 192.168.0.2 let me give one for default gateway and this is uh, 3 and this is 1 here like 10 zero zero dot 1 here it can be 2 20 zero zero 1 here it is 2 here 30 zero zero 2 and here 1 here 172.16.0.1 here 2 here 3 and here let's say that it is like 168.0.0.1 this is 2 this is again 3 this is 4 okay let's go start configuring these IP addresses bit quickly <coughs> okay here it is done it is 192.168.0.3 okay done here one twenty two sixteen dot zero dot two and my default gateway is nothing but my router's interface. My router interface IP is one seventy two sixteen dot zero dot one. That is my default gateway in this network. Just so verify what is the subnet mask here it is configured. Yeah it is class P. Fine. Here one sixty eight zero zero dot two and my here the default gateway here it is dot one here dot three dot four right so let me go to the router that will configure these stuffs interface gigabit 0 slash 1 IP address 192.168.0.1 not 0 no shutdown interface gigabit 0 slash 0 I'm sorry it is getting overrided now show IP interface brief now we can see that I have configured this to IP okay fine and let me enable router AIGRP just for reachability for everywhere and I'm going to use AIGRP 100 so the network what I have here is Ten and one ninety eight, one ninety two, one sixty eight zero dot zero. Network. I'm not using any oil card mask. Okay. Don't summarize it. Okay, fine. So let me go to the next router. Before doing, let me complete it here so that we can conclude we are doing on the correct interfaces interface gigabit 0 slash 0 
IP address 172.16.0.1.255.255.0.0 here you should be very careful while giving the mask whatever you have given on that PC the same mask you have to be giving here and one more interface gigabit 0 slash 1 IP address 30.0.0.2 let me configure this as class A fine router AJRP 100 network 172.16.0.0 network 30.0.0.0 if you want I can give note to summary not required here just we are trying to give a reachability to everywhere that, that means everybody can reach everyone no enable configure configure terminal interface gigabit 0 slash 1 IP address 168 before doing anything here it is again class B only Zero slash zero. It is going to be IP address twenty zero zero two two fifty five zero zero zero. No shutdown. Come up. And here my AGRP router AGRP hundred network one sixty eight zero 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 network twenty dot zero dot zero dot zero. okay sorry for the disturbance I got an important message okay fine so here I have advertised both the network in AIGRP fine so here the next task on this router which is a final task interface gigabit 0 slash 1 IP address 10.0.0.2 no shutdown yeah it was the right interface interface gigabit 0 slash 0 IP address 255.0.0.0 hope this is also the right interface yeah and interface gigabit 0 slash 2 IP address 20.0.0.1.255.0.0.0 no shutdown and the final task router EIGRP 100 network 10.0.0.0 and network 30.0.0.0 network 20.0.0.0 fine so I hope I have formed EIGRP with everybody yeah and if I give show IP route I have learned all the routes 10, 20, 30, 168 on the right hand side 172 on the left top hand side and 192 left bottom end right okay fine so all the routes we have learned it over here so now we are going to test it from this PC whether I can able to reach all three servers 168.0.0.2 for the first time I'm doing so ARP may take place here yeah so the first packet loss is due to maybe ARP what it is happening with the router and the next I'm trying to ping again I'll see one more packet drop yeah here we go so I can able to reach So hopefully I can able to reach all the three servers even from 192 network and also from 172 network. Let me confirm the same here. Ping 168.0.0.2. Yeah, I can reach. 3. Yeah. And 4. 
good now the objective what i'm going to take here it is what are the traffic towards uh 168.0.0.2 deny it okay so he'll permit for remaining three right and here and uh, 168.0.0.3 for both these servers you deny it okay this is what actually I'm trying to say here for this is for this network and this is for this network fine so here we have seen something called access control access control entries I don't want to confuse your people so let's consider this is access control list only okay access control entries or nothing but the lines which we can able to see that in the access control list that's it so here I have these two different tasks okay where I need to apply this access control list on this router on this router or on this router or on this router now the best thing for example if I'm going to apply here I can apply only matching for this network to this particular destination right fine but if i'm going to apply it here the traffic whatever it is incoming because i need to deny the traffic which is coming from 172 network towards 168.0.0.2 and 168.0.0.3 you know i can apply it here instead of applying in these two different individual routers i can go here in one access list i can define this uh, regarding these both the networks this network need to deny this uh, traffic towards this server and this network should deny the traffic towards this server let me make it here instead of two as it is the fourth one which i never because i didn't use it here let's okay fine no problem so and again we have seen three different access lists under access list there are something called numbered and named let me complete you this this part first what is numbered what is standard and extended let me show you here so i'm going to create access list on this router matching this network and this network at one shot instead of doing individually on this router for in in this router for this network and in this router for this network instead of doing that two double task as a one task I'm going to do it why because he is a distribution point for these two different network because the traffic should be passing via this router so I'm going to uh, uh, like create a decision making kind of things using access list on this router so this router is going to deny the traffic based on the access list what I'm going to prepare now fine so now let me show you what is this standard number access list or extended number access list okay it is called as standard numbered access list or extended number access list first we will see standard numbered access list so now I am the router one and I'm going to create some kind of access list access list here if you give enter a question mark it will give you two kind of options what you are trying to do either you are trying to create a standard access list or you are trying to create an extended access list if you are trying to create access standard access list the number should be in the range of 1 to 99 if you give the numbers between 1 to 99 your router will understand this access list what you are creating is just a standard access list so it will show the features or it shows the available features whatever it is there in the standard access list this tells whatever it is there in the extended access list you can't perform such things in standard access list that that's what we have two different classification over here I will show you what you can perform in standard and what you cannot perform in standard and what you can 
do in extended access list let me now go ahead with standard access list let me choose the number 10 which is the range between 1 to 99 so I'm telling the router you're going to start creating access list for standard numbered access list now if you give question mark it is asking you three different things you can do it under this you are going to deny the traffic or permit the traffic or it is just like description like interface description like it is going to from here to there so, uh, just for our understanding we can give some kind of remarks or descriptions for this particular access list okay and now actually what we are going to do either deny or permit it fine before going to tell this actually I need to tell one more thing if you have any number of access list created your decision making on this access based on this access list is going to perform line by line from top to bottom it will not choose randomly first it will check this one then it will check the second one either and then only it will check the third one so if the packet which is matching at the first line itself then there is no need of going to the second line and checking whether it is getting matched or what and uh, the decision will be taken only once on this access list once any of this line is matching what you have defined with the incoming packets that's it it will directly come out of that access list and it will perform what is the command you have given either permit or deny it I'll show you what kind of issues you may face it regarding that now I'm I'm going to create the network whatever it is from 192 to 168 right fine so permit if you give enter here I can see address to match or any source host or any single host here what address you are matching that you are going to permit it or any source host the source host it can be any or instead of network on particular host you are trying to block it then you can give this host command fine no problem now here I'm going to give the address 190 168.0.2 and if you give and it is asking for you something called wildcard mask so here I'll make a network address and here wildcard mask is 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.255 okay enter so now I have created one access control entry in this 10 numbered access list this is a number uh, number which is representing my access list if I'm creating one more access list regarding this I need to put this number as 10 so one more I'm going to create access list 10 deny here you can see a single host address or address to match or any source host whatever it can be any so just give any no problem because one small thing I need to change it here here because now we are performing a standard access list few things is not possible over here so what I'll do from this network so whatever the traffic it is coming from this host okay let it deny for this host let it be permitted the same thing for this host let it be denied and for this host let it be permitted let me go to router 1 again now I have given a uh, fine no problem it is nothing doing actually the whatever I have created just I am remo removing now will go f freshly access list chain now what I need to deny deny 168 it will ask you either the address to match or any source host or any single host address now I'm going to match only the single host address which is 192 before that I need to give host 192.168.0.2 if you give question mark enough you are denying that host to permit it okay so this access list we have done with this network so for this 
host it will permit everything now i am going to create act uh, on the same access list for this host to deny these both things now access list 10 deny host 172.16.0.3 okay that's it so as like i have told before in uh, standard access list only you can match with the source address like you cannot combine the things like from this source to that destination or uh, from this source to that destination particular traffic if you want to like uh, if you want to deny or if you want to permit it it is not possible with the standard one it is possible only at the extended one so by default here what it is going to happen it is not going to block the traffic only for this network instead of this particular for this for this particular host you are you can't able to reach any of this network beyond which is beyond this router which is like beyond this router in the sense uh, you can consider this network and also this network you can't reach until here like until your gateway you can ping because here I am filtering out the traffic whatever it is going here but obviously you can ping here why because I am going to I'll, I'll tell why it is and the same thing it applies here okay so let me go here in this router now I'll create it for okay 172 I have already created so now what I'm going to do I'm going to now I have defined the access list right but I have not done anything so I need to go and apply this access list somewhere so that it will be effective so where I'm going to apply in this sense for example here my traffic f from this PC if it's trying to reach any of the server it need to come to this router right then from this router it will come to this router then it, it has to go to this router similarly from this host to this server if I want to reach first it will go to its default gateway then this router then it needs to go to this router so anyway from this router on this interface it need to cross right so this is the exit interface we can tell from this router so here only I have created the access list so on this interface I'm going to apply that access list on outbound direction on outbound direction right so let me go here interface gigabit 0 slash 2 here IP access group here you need to give the number of the access list what you have used here 10 and which direction you are going to apply whether it is inbound direction which is coming towards the router on that interface or whether it is leaving the router on that interface okay now it is leaving the router that means the router is going to receive the packet and it is going to analyze it and it will take the decision whether I need to permit it or I need to deny it so if if we have given the statement called deny it will deny it if we did not give the statement deny then it will permit it so IPX group 10 out I have applied in outbound direction so let's go here and let's start pinging this any of this server ping 168.0.0.2 destination host unreachable 3 great and 4 great alright I can't reach it okay then uh, let me try here it should happen why because our objective is to only isolate this particular PC to reaching any of the network so I'm trying to ping oh my god here also it is showing destination host unreachable and 3 this is what happen when you are configuring your access strongly it is not allowing any of the traffic ok let me try from this network none of the network they can't able to reach any of the servers this is not strange this is it is telling you clearly that none of the traffic is reaching to that particular destination why why in the sense somewhere you have done the mistake before applying access list everybody can reach everyone right why because they have the visibility to the routes whatever from where it is coming to whom I need to reach but now after applying access list something gone wrong so that I can't reach any any from anyone from anywhere so what went wrong in the sense here I'll show you 
show run. So this is the access list what we have configured with the number 10. Here I have given deny statement and deny statement, fine. By default, the, your access list is going to have implicit deny. Then that means you can't see that particular access control entry. It will be just like the end of the access list. You can see something called deny the traffic from anyone to any one so what are the traffic it is coming from anybody to anybody you just deny it that is what the meaning it is it is implicitly configured on that uh, every access when you have enabled access list by creating some kind of number or name by default this statement will be applied over there that is what it is happening so here what I have done okay the okay do I, oh, you, you are telling me that it will by default it will deny the traffic whatever it is coming from the source to the destination uh, then how you are saying that the permit statement will work the thing here I have defined two different access control entries with the statement called deny right the, there is a condition if your access list wants to work you should have at least at least one permit statement which is given over there if you are not giving any permit statement at least one permit statement your complete traffic is going to getting e uh, denied right because I'm having implicit deny okay fine then my target is to stop the traffic which is coming from this host and this host so remaining whoever they want to reach to anywhere anyone let them because they have the complete freedom so what I need to do it further so let me go to it access list 10 permit any that's it that's it this is a command it will make you whatever the traffic home over the traffic like source traffic just I'm going to allow it I'm not denying anyone okay so let me go here on this PC before it was telling me destination was unreachable let me ping now now I can able to reach that's great right and even uh, three yeah and four yeah that's nice now I can able to reach let me go to this PC and let me try now Still, he could not able to reach the destination. Why? Because our access is denying him to go to go out of that particular router on that particular exit interface. Right? That's great. Let's let's check it here. This guy can able to ping, but before he was not able to do it. Three. Yeah, he can do it and four marvelous okay and this guy ping uh, 168002 he can't I'm sure again he also not possible so hope you have got a very clear picture what is happening I'll explain it now when this PC is trying to reach any of this server here okay so when this PC is trying to reach any of the server I'm sorry any of the server in this direction right so it need to cross this router so it need to cross this router right on this interface 
you need to get out to reach this server because you don't have any other path to reach it fine now what it is happening it while sending his source packet like we can say here for example source IP it is going to be 168.0.0.4 and he is trying to reach destination 168.0.0.x whatever it is it is available there okay it's trying to reach so actually what happens here when this request is coming in on this router he's going to check who is my next hop <coughs> excuse me so I'll show you here show IP route so if you see here for my destination 168.0.2 it is summarized okay and he's telling that I need to reach via 2002 and my exit interface is going to going to be gigabit 0 slash 2 fine first that decision will be taken by the router now what router is going to do now he is receiving the packet from source it is 192 network and it is trying to reach 168 network now he is going to check 168 network if I want to reach who is my next stop now he got the route from the routing table my next stop is 2002 and who is my exit interface gigabit 0 slash 2 okay now he is going to check the interface of gigabit 0 slash 2 gigabit 0 slash 2 is going to check it here something access group configuration has been done over here what it is in the sense it is nothing but we are calling the access list number 10 whatever we have created here what are the traffic it is getting outbounded outbound direction whatever it is going out of that interface out of that gigabit 0 slash 2 interface you apply this access list and do whatever I have commanded over there so what it is has been told here first it's going to check the first line is matching with the incoming package yeah so from source 192.168.0.2 slash yeah you're asking me to deny it oh my god okay fine so I'm going to deny it him that's it gone case okay but if the same thing is happening from this PC which is 172 PC let's see what it will happen the same request like let me go here now the traffic from here it will start low like this right but here the source IP is going to be 172.16.0.3 and destination is going to be 168.0.0.x whatever it is so when he's trying to reach from this particular source to part some particular destination the same packets IP packets will be coming from this router 0 then it will go to router 1 that is from here it will come it will go there first de default gateway now this default gateway is going to redirect it to this router why because he is a next stop to reach this particular network if you see here my default gateway knows that show IP route he knows that how to reach 168 network via 3001 and my exit interface is gigabit 0 slash 1 so this is gigabit 0 slash 1 so he will be forwarding that request on this interface now he is going to take that IP packet and he's going to check the destination the same process 168 he know that he is his next stop and if he want to reach this next stop his exit interface is going to be gigabit 0 slash 2 and under that gigabit 0 slash 2 some kind of access list is applied what is that access list this is what it is now it is going to check that IP packet with that access list now on the outboard because the traffic is trying to move out from that interface it is which we have applied on the outbound uh, direction so first line it will check it is not matching why because uh, the source IP is going to be 172.16.0.3 it is not matching 
so we're going to check the second one 172-1603 yeah perfectly is matching so he's going to either deny it or permit it based on the command what we are given here as per this command it is going to deny the traffic for and uh, for example if in the traffic from any other PC is coming the first two lines will not be getting matched the third line will be matching why because here I have told what are the traffic with any source it is coming just permitted only you deny these two things right so first two lines will not be matching when it is coming to check the third line it will match so my router is going to permit that particular traffic which is not matching on the first two lines hope you have understood the standard numbered access list stay tuned for extended number access list take some break and come back bye bye